Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for today's spring slash Easter decorating video. I am so inspired and so excited to decorate for spring this year and I'm just showing you some of the pieces I plan to use today that I've probably been collecting for the last month or so. I always love picking up seasonal napkins and I wasn't sure if I would use these in my kitchen or on my tea cart, but I thought they were so sweet. And then I got this cute little Easter plate. This was from Walmart actually, and I love that soft pastel pink. It's definitely the color that I'm going for this spring. And this was $3.97. I did only pick up one, but they also had them in white and then a very soft powder blue. So if those are your colors, these would be so perfect. They had really pretty bowls with the same pattern. And then they had so many pretty plates to choose from. And I thought the prices were so great. When I was browsing at Walmart, I came across these stunning cups. I just fell in love with them. It looks like the flowers were hand painted. I'm sure they're not, but I think they look so stunning. And these were only $1.97. So I picked up three of them for my island. And then these eggs were from Winners. I love them. The eggs don't come out, but this little set was $19.99, I believe. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love to pick up a new mug for every season. I just feel like it makes your drinks extra special and I love this little bunny one. So like I was saying, my colors this year are very soft pastel pinks and I think also some sage green. These florals are so beautiful. They're from Michaels and I believe they were $8.99 a stem, but I feel like they look so realistic and my idea was to put them in this gorgeous pot, which was also from Michaels and I absolutely love that hobnail design on it. These candlesticks are so gorgeous. I love the pattern on them. They were $9.99 for a set of two at Michael's. And then these little bunny plates are so adorable. I got a four pack and I believe they were $14.99 from HomeSense, which is basically like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. And I love the hints of pink in the bunny's ears. I've really been loving incorporating plates into my decor. These were from Michaels. It was buy one, get one free, and I love the checkered print on them. I also picked up this ribbon from Michaels. I love how soft and feminine it is. One side is velvet, and the other side is just a soft pink, and I think this is so gorgeous, just tied onto various decor pieces to incorporate your color scheme. I also got some hand soap from Bath & Body Works. I love this soft muted pink and just the simplicity of the packaging. And then I was also trying to incorporate some spring pieces. So I thought this little green watering can was perfect. It was $9.99 from HomeSense. I always like to refresh my tea towels every season. It's just a fun thing to do and I feel like they do get grimy. So these ones were $9.99 for a set of two and I thought they were so adorable. I purchased this sign last year from the Dublin Mercantile. It's very thin and lightweight. I wasn't sure if I would use it, but I thought it was so adorable as well as this sweet little bunny with its mama. I have to share this cute little clip of Holstein sunbathing on the couch. I thought it was so adorable. We haven't had a ton of sun lately, so just getting the sun feels so nice. And the weather has been really cold again. We were having really spring-like weather for a bit. And then over the last four days or so, we've gotten a ton of snow and it's been bitter cold. So if I showed you outside now, it wouldn't match all the spring decor. We definitely have a ton of snow. But I know spring is just around the corner and Easter is actually early this year. I think it's the end of March. So I'm just so excited to start decorating and just make it feel a little bit more spring-like. I love to start my decorating in my kitchen. I think because we use the space so much and it's kind of the center of our home. So I really like to start my decorating in here. And I wanted to show you guys a close up of my island. I love the marble print just with the taupes and the grays. It's very neutral. So I'm gonna go in and layer a really pretty round basket. This is one of my favorites. And to me, it just says spring and Easter. I love the soft muted color. 
Ever since I seen this pot at Michael's, I was envisioning it on my kitchen island for spring. And I love how this pot looks with these florals inside. They're very droopy and very realistic and just that soft pink instantly makes it feel very spring-like. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what colors you're using for your spring and Easter decor. Last year I used a lot of purples, so I wanted to switch it up this year and I'm so glad I decided to go with this blush pink. I wanted to mix gold with my spring decor this year. I've never done that. Typically I do more silver, but I think the gold adds a really romantic feel and I'm gonna add in those really gorgeous tapered candlesticks as well as this cute little tea towel. It was left over from last year, but I love the grays mixed in. And then I had this adorable mama and baby bunny. I thought the gray looked so pretty against the white and the pinks. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you started decorating for spring or Easter. I can't believe Easter is about a month away. I am so excited. It's one of my favorite holidays. It's very special. So I'm so excited to get the house all decorated and just enjoy that family time coming up. And it gives so much hope for warmer weather and brighter days ahead. I decided I would use these pretty pink chargers. I've had these for so many years. I love the color and the scalloped edges. These were originally from Michaels. And then I had these sage green plates. They almost have a speckle design on them. The camera wasn't really picking it up, but I thought they were so gorgeous mixed in with the pink. And then I'm gonna layer these adorable bunny plates right on top. I was shopping at the Dublin Mercantile and I came across these really sweet carrots. I just love them. I think they're so adorable. And I decided to add these to the plates just for an extra little Easter touch. I'm so glad I decided to pick up these cups from Walmart. I love how soft and feminine they are. And I just think that pop of pink adds such a pretty little touch for the spring season. I'm gonna add my pink lavender and espresso bath and body work soap to my little dish here. I love that touch of pink and it smells so good. And I absolutely love how the island is coming together. All those touches of pink and sage green with the bunnies just bring me so much happiness and joy. And I truly love sharing everything with you guys also and hope you get some inspiration for your own homes. I love to add little wreaths to my kitchen cabinets and I have these lamb's ear ones. I decided to tie some of that really pretty velvet ribbon on these and I think it instantly makes them feel so springy and festive. I have this really pretty tobacco basket. I've had this for a lot of years and I love to layer with this. It just kind of hides my light switches because I don't like them exposed. And then I'm gonna go in with this tray. It's very French country looking. I love the simplicity of it. And I'm gonna add back my canisters. These I've had for many years since me and my husband got married and they were a gift from my mom. So I love to use these seasonally and just switch up the decor kind of around these canisters. Adding in touches of lace or doilies instantly makes things feel a little bit more feminine and pretty for this time of year. And then I'm gonna add this little potted plant. I love the pop of green that it brings to this area. And I have this really cute kitchen spatula. I just typically use it for decor. So I tuck that in here and I think it's a cute little touch for a kitchen space. I thought this area needed a little bit more pink, so I decided to tuck in this pink plate. Like I said, plates are so great for using as filler. And then I had this cute little bunny. This was a gift from my mom many years ago. It almost looks vintage to me. So I decided to tuck this into this little area also. 
I wanted the kitchen to have some spring decor, not just Easter decor, so I thought this little pitcher was so cute. I got it from Value Village for $2.99, and I added in some of those floral stems as well as a ribbon, and I think it's so gorgeous. I had this little tin can that says Easter sweets, so I decided to layer that on my little pedestal also. To bring a little bit of color to my stove, I'm gonna layer in these cute little bunny towels and I love how they add that perfect touch of pink I was looking for. Beside my little coffee station, I decided to add this riser and then I have my little coffee pods that I keep in here right by the curry machine. And to bring a little bit of pink in here, I'm gonna layer in that pink plate from Walmart as well as this cute little nest with the eggs. I'm going to go in with this little plate and spoon. I love to have a little spoon right by the coffee maker. And then of course my new little mug that says hop to it. I've definitely been decluttering and organizing a lot in my kitchen. You guys will have to let me know if you started any spring cleaning yet or decluttering. It feels so nice to kind of get rid of things I'm no longer using or mismatched items. I ended up donating a lot, but then I've also been selling some things too. So let me know in the comments if you guys have started your spring cleaning also. I really wanted to disguise this outlet switch on this longer counter so I was looking for something with a bit of height and I found this cloche. I've had this for many years but haven't used it in a while and then I also had some moss. I picked this up from Michaels. It is super messy but I think it looks so pretty in cloches and definitely feels very spring-like. I had these little pots that I picked up and I kind of whitewashed them. I wanted them to be a little bit more of a softer color and I decided to tuck these into the cloche stand and then also add some more of this moss right into these little pots and I love it. I think it looks so adorable and gives a very spring-like feel. If you guys know me, you know that I love birds. I love bird watching. So I thought this little gray bird was so adorable. I picked this up from Michaels a few years ago. And then I'm also going to go in with another little nest. And I tied a pink ribbon on here just to bring a little bit of color to this space. This chippy bowl with the scalloped edges is one of my favorites. I use this pretty much for every season and just switch up what I put inside. So I'm gonna fill it with some of those Easter eggs from Michaels. I love that these are speckled and just all the pastel colors. I think it's so pretty and adds that perfect little touch for Easter. So one of my eggs dropped out and Holstein instantly wanted to play with it. I thought it was so cute. He loves Christmas balls, Easter eggs, anything that's kind of this shape. But I thought it was so adorable and look at him giving me sass. He wanted me to throw it right away, but I thought this was just so cute. So going along with my soft kind of vintage romantic feel for spring, I had this gorgeous basket. I love the details of the leather handles on it. I'm going to add some florals to this and I love adding a little bit of decor to the top of my fridge. It's just such a plain boring space so if I can add a little something it makes it feel a bit more festive and I had this large carrot so I thought I would throw that in as well and it just adds a nice little pop of color up here. This amazing gray sign is one of my favorites. I've had it for so many years and I love the song Amazing Grace. I feel like it's very fitting for this time of year and I just really like that sign kind of above the microwave to fill in some of that space. I think the kitchen turned out so pretty. 
I love that I decided to go with the pink and definitely use colors that make you feel happy and inspired and bring you joy. And for me, the pink is definitely doing it. It's brought me so much joy just having the soft colors out after Christmas and winter. Just those pastels are so pretty. So I'm so happy you decided to stop by and spend some time with me. And you guys will have to let me know in the comments what room you want me to decorate next for spring. I will definitely take all your comments into consideration because I haven't actually done any other decorating throughout the rest of the house. So leave me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you again for stopping by and spending some time with us. And until the next video, friends, take care. God bless. Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another spring decorating video. And today we're gonna to be decorating the dining room. It's a gorgeous sunny day. Things are finally warming up. And I'm just so excited to get some spring decorating done. I feel like once the sun comes out, and the days don't feel so long. It really inspires me to bring some of those lighter pastel pinks out and greens. So this is just a little overview of our dining room. And I did wanna show you a clip of our kitchen. I decorated that last week. And I really wanna tie the dining room decor into the kitchen, so let's get started. So like I mentioned, I really wanted to keep the same color scheme and the softness from the kitchen into the dining room. I just feel like it creates such a cohesive look in the home. And I love the pale pinks with the grays, the gold tones, as well as some very rustic pieces. So I'll start with these bookends. I've had these for quite a while and I just love how rustic they look. I think these are going to look so pretty in the dining room. I love these napkins kind of with the pom-pom detail. Details. And then these plates I picked up from Walmart. I think they're so gorgeous. I got four and they were $4.97 each. Because I'm going with really soft pinks this spring, I thought I would look in my Valentine's Day bin and I found this really cute heart dish. It matches my plates perfectly, so I did want to incorporate that. And I think this little teapot is one of my favorite things. This was my mom's and my sister had it. I love the roses and the gold detailing. And to me, it's just so perfect for this time of year. I couldn't resist this cute little Easter egg sign. I love that it's in a soft gray. It's made out of tin, so cute. And then I picked up a few of these candlesticks. I knew that I wanted to incorporate the sage green with the soft pink. And I love the look of these gold candlesticks mixed with the more vintage ones. I think it's so pretty. This cute little bunny egg was $6.99 from HomeSense. I love that so much, it's so sweet. As well as this cute little bunny, I just love the finish on him. I think he's just so aged and really cute. I had a gift card and I decided to splurge on this big bowl. I love that beige color, the size, the shape. It was $39.99, but I know that I can use this from season to season. So we're going to get started with the decorating. I did want to add a wreath to my mirror and I love these kind of hooks. You get them from Dollarama or Dollar Tree and they just adhere to your mirror. And this big wreath I've had for quite a while. I think it's cherry blossoms, but I decided to kind of jazz it up and I'm going to use this ribbon that I got from Michaels. It's buy one, get one free and it's a velvet ribbon. It's so pretty. And I knew that just adding a pink bow would just make it feel 
softer and more spring-like and that's a great tip if you don't want to buy decor every season you can just switch out the ribbons or the florals on it and use it from year to year so I think this turned out so sweet and I love the addition of the pink ribbon I purchased this mirror late fall and I wasn't sure how I would feel about it with my spring decor because the border is black but I think adding a big wreath to it really softens the look of it and I think just adding this cute little sign kind of on the shelf here really helps soften the look also. It really makes it more muted and to me it has more of a spring feel. I don't know about you guys, but when I buy a new piece, I always look forward to styling it right away. It's just so fun and exciting to have some new decor. And I thought I would use some of this moss. I picked this up from Michael's last year. I think a big bag with a coupon was under $10, which is a great price. And this stuff is super messy, but I'm just going to pull it apart now. When it comes out of the bag, it's kind of all just clumped together. So by separating it, it just makes everything feel really light and airy and just a little bit more of a natural feel. I think it was last spring that I decided to whitewash a few of my terracotta pots. You can get these from the dollar store or Michaels and I think the whitewash just makes it look a little bit softer for spring. I tend to go with really soft woods and paler colors when I'm decorating this time of year and then I'm also going to tuck in that cute little egg. I love it. I think it's so precious. As you can see the moss kind of was going everywhere but I love the look of it so I don't mind that it's a little bit messy and then I'm going to tuck in a few of these speckled eggs. I really love how this bowl turned out. I think it's so fun and I'm excited to decorate it seasonally. I'm definitely trying to invest in more pieces that I can change up throughout the seasons and I think this is going to be a great addition and I felt like something was missing. Um, I think it needed a little bit more pink at the bottom because I did have that pink bow on the wreath. So I just decided to come in here and add this velvet pink ribbon. And I think it completely changes the look and ties everything together really well. You guys will have to let me know if you use ribbons in your decor. I love to use it because you can change the whole feel and look of a space without spending a lot of money. It just ties in that pink that I want to use and I really don't have a lot of pink so this was the perfect choice. And little Holstein got a hold of one of my eggs. He loves to bat these around and play with them. I think it's so adorable. He got it stuck behind this ladder here so he was looking at me to help him but I knew he could just wiggle it out and I just think it's so cute and fun to watch him. It truly does bring me so much joy. I can't believe he's almost six. I feel like it was just yesterday that I brought him home, but I just really enjoy watching his antics every week. We're going to move over to the dining room table now. I have this really pretty table runner. I probably should have ironed that, but I didn't. And then I'm going to go in with this gorgeous flower basket. If you're ever looking for baskets, I would suggest checking out your local thrift stores. They usually have so many and they're usually at really good prices. I did want to show you a quick clip of my basement and some of my storage shelves and this is where I keep a lot of my baskets. I definitely need to organize this space a little bit better. Let me know if you guys want me to bring you along for that and show you guys some of my collections and the way I store all my decor. I'm going to go in now and add these gold candlesticks. I got these from HomeSense and I use them in my Christmas decor, but to make them feel a little bit more spring-like, I'm going to go in with these soft pink candles. I got these ones from the Dublin Mercantile, but I did purchase a bunch of candles from Michaels, these light pink ones as well as these white ones. They have so many to choose from and they're buy one get one free right now. These chippy candle holders are so gorgeous. I love mixing gold with more vintage antique looking items. It's so soft and pretty and I love the addition of the old with the new and different textures. I feel like it adds so much visual interest and then I'm just going to add this cute little teapot into my basket. 
If you are looking for teapots, if you don't have any, definitely check out Michael's. They had so many that were so cute. I think this floral one is my absolute favorite. This one is super cute though and has more of a cottage feel. But if you're looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, I would definitely suggest checking out your local thrift shop. I love this one and it was only $7.99. Using doilies is a great way to bring a little bit of vintage charm to your space. I love finding them at the thrift store. And then to this basket, I'm going to add this cute little plate that I did get at Walmart. I love that pale pink. And then I had a few of these little ramekin dishes and I added some speckled green eggs just to bring a pop of that green sage color to the basket. To bring a little bit more of an Easter feel to the space, I'm going to add this adorable little bunny. It almost has a woven fabric feel to it and I love that the grey ties into the grey sign on the buffet. It just makes everything feel very cohesive. I always try to add different heights and textures. I feel like it adds so much to displays and makes them feel a little bit more interesting. And this turned out so cute. I love that it's so girly and just feels very spring-like. I thought I was missing some greenery, so I just went in with the garland I had. It's a lamb's ear garland, and I love that soft muted green. I guess I could have stopped there, but I decided to set the table as if we were having company. If you guys have been watching my channel for a long time, we typically don't eat here. We eat up in our loft, so it's very easy for me to stage this because we don't use it every day. You guys will have to let me know if you use your table daily or more if you just have company over. So to me, kind of making these tablescapes is so fun and something I always look forward to. I'm going to layer in these gorgeous wall Walmart plates. I love the flowers on them as well as the bunnies. I think they're so gorgeous and they did have these in a few colors. I think it was blue and white and maybe green. So definitely check out Walmart if you're looking for some gorgeous plates at really great prices. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you like how this tablescape turned out. I think it's so beautiful and I just thought it would be so fun maybe to have a girl's supper or do something like that something really fun just because it does look so cute and pretty and it's just something I look forward to doing every year it brings me so much joy and Easter especially is just such a special time of the year of course when I'm decorating Holstein is always close by but I absolutely love it he was enjoying the sunshine so much on this day and being outside of it but we're going to move on to this blanket ladder I have now and I really wanted to add a few little touches to this area. I had this gorgeous scarf. It was my mom's and it has these beautiful daisies on the bottom. I love incorporating this into my spring decor. It's very light and airy and fresh and I had to include this little clip because Holstein gave me the sweetest little kiss. He's such a little love bug and I just love him so much. I decided to layer in this beige bag just on top of the white. I love the texture and the softness it brings. It's just so adorable and it's just a perfect amount of decor on there. Just because there's so much going on on the table, I didn't want to add too much there. And then the final little piece in this room is this really pretty table. I decided to add some florals to it just because I haven't used any other florals in the room. And I love these ones from Michaels. I use them in my kitchen also. So, and I had this really pretty pot again a purchase from Michaels and I love the look of these florals they just look so organic and wispy they're so perfect for spring and the color is absolutely gorgeous when I do my home tour you guys will have to count all the bunnies that I have in my home because I've lost track but the more the better in my opinion I think they're so sweet and I always look forward to pulling them out this time of year this turned out so adorable. I just love how everything's looking. I'm probably going to keep everything up until I do my summer decorating just because I think it looks so pretty and I want to enjoy it as long as I can. You can see how well the kitchen decor coordinates with the dining room, which was definitely the feel that I was going for and I cannot wait to do the living room next week. I might even have time to decorate this week. We'll see how the week goes. 
but I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and that you come by and say hi and spend some time with us every week. It truly means so, so much to us, but I'm going to show you some clips of how everything turned out and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. God bless. Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another spring decorating video. And today we're gonna be decorating for spring in my living room. I'm so excited. I've kind of deep cleaned this whole room and tried to make it feel really fresh for spring. And it helps me having a blank slate when I'm gonna start a new season. I don't know about you guys, but I just like to remove everything and give it a good clean. I did vacuum our couch and ottoman and I've had this couch set for eight years now. It's not my favorite just because it is so large, but I really love how big the ottoman is and I love to store pillows in this. I did want to give a full view of the room and behind our sectional we do have the sofa table that I got from Ikea and then off the living room I have our kitchen. If you did miss my spring kitchen decorate with me I will link it in the description box and then right off the kitchen we have the dining room. So I really want to make the living room feel cohesive with these two spaces just because our whole downstairs is very open concept. So I was really craving change. So what I did is I took the sectional apart so it becomes two pieces and I could kind of make two couches. And I feel like this really opens up the room. It was feeling really closed in and small. And I just love how much more space we have just by separating the sectional. And it does have these two metal pieces on each side where they kind of fit together. I don't know if you noticed that in the last clip. So my husband was able to remove three of the four. And I'm going to disguise this last one with a blanket. So you guys will have to wait and see how it turns out. And of course, I have my little sidekick Holstein with me. He's just having a snack while I start to decorate. So we're going to start with the mantle which is my favorite space to decorate and make this feel very pretty for spring. I'm going to start off with these gorgeous canisters. I got these from Michaels last year. I love the simplicity of the pattern on them as well as that cream color and I just think these are going to look perfect kind of on either side of this large arched mirror and I really wanted to fill it with some florals. These florals I did get at Michaels last year but I seen them again this year. It's buy one get one free and I think these stems are so gorgeous. I believe in my last video you guys said these 
these are dogwood stems and I absolutely love them to me they just look and feel like spring they're kind of wispy with the buds on them so I really wanted to incorporate these into my decor and just make them feel very organic and wispy and like something you would see in nature I am just loving all the florals this year, the whites and the creams and the soft pinks. I feel like it's so perfect for this time of year. And because I don't really decorate for Valentine's Day, I don't get a chance to use a lot of pink in my decor. So it's been so nice to just go with that soft muted pink and I think it's just so perfect. But I love how these floral stems look in here, just very wispy and I love that they're kind of layered over the mirror and on the bookshelves. To me, it just gives a very natural appearance. And then I'm gonna go in with these gorgeous peonies. I think that's what they are, or redonkulous. I can't remember, you guys will have to let me know. And I wanted to pop in a little bit of that soft muted pink color. So I didn't have very many stems of this. I haven't been able to find a lot of them at my local Michaels. So I decided to just add one into each vase, but I think it kind of brings in that perfect pop of pink that I was looking for. If you guys watch my channel regularly, you would know that I love a very symmetrical look when I'm decorating, so I think these vases look so pretty. But I'm going to go in with these gorgeous gold candlesticks. I did pick these up at HomeSense during the winter, and I'm going to layer in these gorgeous pink candles. I got these from Michaels. I love the simplicity of them, and to me the pink and gold just pair so well together. I have this really cute chocolate bunny co-sign. I got this from the Dublin Mercantile a few years ago. I love that the cream matches the vases perfectly and I felt like the mirror needed a little something to warm it up. So I love the addition of that sign. And I'm gonna go in with a ribbon. I feel like it needs a little bit more pink. So I'm just gonna add this and I feel like it's the perfect little whimsical touch. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you decorate for Easter and then spring or if you just combine your spring and Easter decor like me. I carry my bunnies all the way through spring and then I move on to my summer decor so let me know in the comments what you do. I've had this cake stand for quite a while. I love the little scalloped edges on it. I wanted to add a wreath to the top of this, but I didn't have one, so I did take a garland. I think this was Liz at Traditions by the Seasons who showed me how to do this. You can just make your own little wreath by using a garland, and I think this one is so cute and wispy. I love it so much, so thank you, Liz, for that idea, and I will link your channel in the description box. And then I have this really cute mama and and baby bunny that I'm just gonna layer on top of this cake stand. I felt like this display needed a little bit more pink so I'm just gonna go in with some of these speckled Easter eggs that I got at Walmart and I love how sweet and pretty and feminine it is. It's just so gorgeous for spring and I'm excited to have this up for a few months so I can really enjoy all these adorable little bunnies as well as all the florals. Of course, my adorable little helper Holstein is sleeping on the job, but he was just having a very lazy day watching me decorate. But I'm gonna move over to the bookshelves now, and I truly wanted to keep everything really light and simple and not go overboard with the decor just because I've had so much up throughout the year. So I'm going for very light colors, like this very soft pink with a spud vase. I absolutely love this. And then I had this adorable little carrot. I got this from HomeSense for $7.99. I have this adorable gold bird. I got this from HomeSense this year. It was a pack of two for $16.99. And I really am trying to add in more touches of gold. And then I have this gorgeous box. I love the polka dots as well as the stripes. I have a set of three, but I decided to go in with one. And then I'm gonna layer in some of these thrifted books. 
I've been trying to collect books as I go thrifting and yard sailing. I love how they look on the bookshelf in those very muted colors. And then I have this really cute chippy clock. I got this from Michaels last year. To me, it looks very cottagey, so I thought that would be perfect. And to bring in a little bit of an Easter touch, I'm going to go in with this wooden egg. So I have to show you guys my favorite finds that I got this week. It's from HomeSense and I love these arched pictures. I think they're so gorgeous. It was $19.99 for a set of two and I think there's daisies on them. But I love the very muted colors and the arch kind of mimics the mirror that I have on the fireplace. So I really wanted to incorporate these into my bookshelves. And then I have this really pretty little bird cage. It has a bumblebee on the top. I decided to keep it simple and not add anything to it. And I just love that light and airy feel that it gives to the space. Sometimes if I run out of decor or I don't have enough in the color palette that I'm using, I'll go in with a pillow. So I have this really pretty sage green one. I think it matches my color scheme perfectly. So I layered that onto my bottom shelf and I absolutely love how this bookcase turned out. Definitely adding a few little vintage touches and more farmhouse with a little bit of modern with the gold and the florals. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think and if there's anything you would change. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you like to switch up your furniture and decor seasonally or if you like to keep things very similar and just add in a few touches. I think it's always so interesting to see what everybody likes to do and kind of what makes them feel like home. So for me, you guys know I have a decor channel. I do love to switch things up, but I've always been like that long before I had my channel. I always really enjoyed making everything feel really festive for each holiday and going all out so let me know in the comments if you're like me or if you like to keep things more minimalistic and simple I love this little bird nest to me it looks so real with the speckled eggs and I am going to go in with another one of these carrots I just love that muted color and how they fill space so well and again I have another one of these boxes but I'm going to switch it up I have this adorable little watering can I got this from Dollarama and I believe this eucalyptus was also from Dollarama so I think that looks so cute kind of just tucked into the watering can and I'm also going to layer in a few more books I just have a white one and a cream one and I love the soft touch that they bring to the bookshelf I have a set of these little Peter Rabbit books. I thought I would tuck one of these in here just to bring a little bit of an Easter feel to the space. And again, I'm going to go in with one of these gorgeous wooden eggs. I love the detail. I am keeping some things the same on my bookshelves, but I'm also changing it up a little bit too. This little cage is smaller than the one I had on the other side. And these Robin's eggs are my absolute favorite in this little cardboard box. I got these from the Dublin Mercantile and I love that bright pop of color it brings to the shelves. For the bottom shelf, I am going to go in with this cream pillow. I wish I had another sage one, but I don't, so I'll make do with what I have. And a lot of this decor is pieces that I've been collecting over the years. And I just think it turned out so sweet and pretty for spring. Very minimalistic compared to some of my decorating. But to me, it just says spring with those light airy colors, the soft pinks, and all the florals. To break up all the gray on my sectional, I'm going to go in with these really pretty soft pink pillows. I also have these checkered pillows from HomeSense. They were $24.99 this year. And I love to add subtle hints of pattern to my decor, so I think these ones are so perfect. I love adding throw blankets to my couches. I feel like it makes everything look really soft and comfy. Holstein loves sitting on these. And I'm gonna add this gorgeous throw blanket to my ottoman, just kind of drape it over. And I have this really pretty gold tray. I use this at Christmas, but thought it would be perfect for my spring decor also. 
To the top of my tray, I'm going to add this really cute bird cage with some moss. And then I have my Bible. This was a gift from my brother. It's so special to me. So I wanted to put this out and spend more time in it every day and just focus on what Easter is all about. I did decide to layer in this candle. And then I'm going to go in with this little snuffer as well as wick trimmer. You guys will have to let me know what you think of all the pinks in my decor this year and kind of what colors you decided to go with for spring. Everything's so light and airy and just so pretty. I love that the sun is shining longer and I think this coming up weekend is when we spring ahead here in Canada. I don't know if everybody's the same, but I can't believe it's already that time of year again. I'm just really enjoying having all these gorgeous spring touches up and all the Bunnies. I think the more bunnies, the better. They're just so sweet and perfect for this time of year. I want to take the time to thank you guys for stopping by and spending some time with us today. I truly look forward to chatting with each and every one of you in the comments every week and I try to get back to as many of you as possible. It means so much that you take the time to send me comments and likes and just everything truly means so much to me and I'll just forever be so grateful. So until the next video friends, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Take care and God bless. Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another spring decorating video. I thought I would start off by showing you some of my previous spring and Easter decor pieces that I absolutely love and want to use again this year. I do have a few new things that I thought I would show you before we get to decorating and I am so excited because today we're decorating the front entryway. I fell in love with this gorgeous print when I seen it. It almost has a Victorian or a vintage feel with the gold frame. I love the simple sketch of the florals so I could not wait to use that. And I was out shopping at Michael's and I found these really delicate baby's breath. I've never seen them at Michael's before but I cannot wait to use these in my spring decorating. I think adding elements that we would see in nature to our decorating just gives it more of a realistic feel. So I love this little bird's nest, it's so adorable. And I wanna combine this her box as well into my entryway decor. I think it's so pretty and feminine. This little tricycle is so cute. This was a find from Michaels last year. I love the detailing on the handlebars and you can add florals to this. And I also got this window pane from Michaels. I think this will be perfect for my spring decorating. And I had my little helper. He was just sunbathing and resting on the pillow and watching me while I share my haul with you guys. He loves sunbathing in the morning and this was just the cutest little shot. So I've removed all of my winter decor from my entryway and gave it a really good clean and I'm excited to add all the spring and Easter touches. 
The entryway is nice and bright and airy, which I absolutely love, and it was definitely one of the selling points for us. But I have this gorgeous mirror here. I've had it since we've moved in. And then I always have these farmhouse style lamps on this table that was from my mom. And I did decide to keep the baskets on the bottom. I just feel like it adds a really pretty rustic touch. I've had this R nest sign for a few years now and I always pull it out for Easter. I think it's very fitting and I love the simplicity of it. I think layering these on top of mirrors just adds a little bit more visual interest. And then I have this scalloped tray in this cream color. This is going to kind of be the centerpiece for my vignette and I think it just looks very pretty for spring. To add a little height to this vignette, I'm going to go in with this bowl. It's almost raised and I love it. It's very simple and pretty. And then I have this Easter bunny. I pull him out every year. He has speckling on him. He was from Michael's originally. I had to repair his ear this year because it fell off. But he's my absolute favorite. And then I have these adorable little carrots that I'm just going to tuck in right beside him. These gorgeous lace Easter eggs were from the Dublin Mercantile. They are very neutral, but I think they pop next to the white bunny, and I just think he looks so adorable surrounded by his eggs and carrots. So my sweet sister surprised me with these hyacinths. They smell exactly like lilacs to me and I think they're so gorgeous. My mom would typically get me an Easter lily but my sister couldn't find any yet this year so she surprised me with these and I absolutely love them. They make the entryway smell so amazing and they just bring a little bit of nature inside. Guys will have to let me know in the comments if you have any Easter traditions that are special to you and your family. Definitely some of ours are going to Sunday service and I love watching the Ten Commandments and Ben-Hur and just spending time with family. So let me know in the comments what your traditions are. I am loving how the entryway table is looking just with those subtle pops of pink and all the neutrals. I did decide to add this gorgeous window pane and to me it just makes it feel very spring-like like you're looking out the window and seeing all the florals and the bunnies so it brings me so much happiness. To warm these baskets up, I thought I would layer in one of my favorite blankets. It's very neutral with the cream and the beige, but I love that it adds that perfect little pop of warmth, and I think this display turned out so pretty. I love all the pops of pink. To me, it just says spring. at my worst It's grace that you extended That I did not deserve I am so amazed by all you have done I cannot explain the depth of your love Limits can't contain
I'm going to decorate my coat rack now. I always love adding a few seasonal touches here. So I have this really pretty light wash jean jacket that I'm going to add. And then I got this basket from a local store called Jillian's. I think this shape is just so pretty and it's the perfect spot to hang it. And then I'm going to go in with these baby's breath and I love the delicate touch that it adds to this space. When you walk in our home to the right, we have this little seating area. I have this really cute bench here. I love it because it opens and I can store things in here. So we're going to make this feel a little bit more festive for spring. To bring a little bit of color to this wood and silver wall picture, I'm going to add this gorgeous wreath. I think it's so pretty and again, I love how wispy it is. It looks very natural and I'm going to tuck in a blanket. I always love to have something cozy here because sometimes as you can see here, Holstein will love to sit here and look out the front window. He loves this little area so I just always like to make it feel nice and cozy for him just in case he wants to get up here and sit while I'm at work or just filming a video for you guys. I did decide to add this pillow, but you guys, I'm doing a lot of spring cleaning and I cannot believe how many pillows I have. So you'll have to let me know if you're the same way. I need to start buying pillow covers and not so many pillows, but I'm going to add this cute little basket to the bench. I feel like it needed something on this side and I'm going to layer in this cute little tea towel. I had these risers and the items that I'm going to put in this basket definitely needed something to give them some height. So I thought these little risers would be perfect and to disguise them and add a little pop of pink over here, I'm going to use this really pretty pink tea towel. I thrifted this little teapot last year when I was thrifting for summer decor and I love it. It has a cute little bird on the top. It looks very vintage and romantic to me and I did get the matching sugar and creamer set so I decided to stack those and I think they look so pretty in this basket. I decided to add a little pop of greenery and to me it looks like you're just packing a little picnic for the park and I just think it is so adorable. I love how this area turned out. It looks so fresh and clean and pretty for spring and just adding a few simple touches can make such a difference. I always looked forward to when my mom would decorate seasonally. It just made the holidays feel that much more special and I love to do it now also. So just these touches of pinks and the soft greens and the bunnies bring me so much happiness. So I truly hope you've enjoyed today today's video. I was thinking for my next one this week, I'm going to try to do another one. I might do our little powder room and show you guys Holstein's Easter basket. So let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that and you'll have to stay to the end because I did include some adorable clips of Holstein. So until the next video, friends, take care and God bless. Appalachian sunrise paints my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden things. 
Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel and my spring slash Easter home tour. I'm so happy you're here today. I thought we would start off in the entryway and on our coat rack here, I kept it very simple with this basket and I added in some baby's breath that I purchased from Michael's. For my spring decor this year, I did keep it very neutral with pops of pink. I really love how the pink looks for this time of year. And on our entryway table, I wanted to keep it really fresh with a few little hints of Easter thrown in as well. I love this pink ribbon that I found at Michael's this year. It's almost like a velvet pink and I dressed up these lamps by just tying some ribbons on them. And on the bottom of the table here, I added these two baskets and draped a blanket over it. I think it looks so soft and so pretty using a lot of those neutral colors. And on this little stool, I added this adorable little birdhouse with a bird and a blush pink egg. Moving over to our little sitting area, I have this gorgeous arched piece that I added this really beautiful wreath to. And on the bench, I did keep it very simplistic. I had this basket and I decided I would add this really pretty tea set that I got last summer from the thrift store. I love the little birds on the top and it just looks so perfect for spring and Easter. I do have my little helper Holstein with me today. You guys love seeing him, so I try to include him as much as I can. I drape this soft gray blanket on the bench, and then I just have some rain boots here. But moving over to my little three-tier stand, I started off with this really pretty print that I got from Marshalls, I believe, or Winners. They're all kind of the same store. I love how soft and simple it is with the gold rim, and I love that it almost brings a bit of a vintage feel to the space. This little stand is definitely one of my favorite areas to decorate. I took a card from the dollar store and framed it with this really cute bunny in it. And then on the second shelf here, I had this really cute bike from Michaels and this adorable little gold bird I did get this year in a set of two. I think it's a perfect little whimsical touch. I really am loving all the soft pinks this spring. I think it's so beautiful. On this bottom shelf, I added this little herb box and I had some carrots and a little nest that I just tucked into it. I did decide to add this lantern and then to make it a little bit more special, I added this plant and I think it came together so beautifully. Definitely says spring to me, and I'm just enjoying the very muted palette that I went with this year. It looks so soft and feminine, and it just says spring. We do have a small powder room in our main entryway, so I did take this lamb's ear wreath and tied a pink ribbon on it just to dress it up a little bit. I always love to add a wreath to the store and our powder room is quite small, but I love to add seasonal touches to this space as well. On this shelf that I got from Facebook Marketplace when we first moved into our home, I added this basket with some tulips, some carrots, and a pink bow, and then I had that adorable little bunny that I thought I would add also. This is one of my favorite pieces in this bathroom. I feel like it adds so much character and warmth, and then I had this little basket that I added a few little speckled eggs to. Because we do have a pedestal sink here and it is quite small, I can only add a few small touches like some pretty hand soap, a bird, and that green candle, but I think everything looks really beautiful and welcoming for our guests. Moving down our hallway, I have this little table here that I decided to decorate. I added some florals as well as this adorable little watering can and bunny. I got this watering can a few years ago, but I love that beautiful gray color as well as the muted hues of the cute little bunny. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what your staple spring and Easter decor is. For me, it's lots of bunnies and florals and birds. I think it's just all so pretty. 
and the sun was shining on and off today and it just brought so much light into our main area and this is our living room. I did rearrange the space and broke up our sectional into two couches and I feel like it makes the space so much bigger and feels a lot more open now. Holstein loves to move from couch to couch just looking out the windows. On these couches I use some pale pink pillows as well as these beige checkered ones and I think it just blends in so well with the color scheme I'm going with. I have to say that the mantle is definitely my favorite space that I've decorated so far this spring with all the pops of the florals and the greens with the pinks. I just feel like it says spring and it just brings a little bit of a soft romantic feel to the space which I really love. I did purchase all my florals from Michaels. I absolutely love these pink floral stems. They're the Ashland ones in the everyday floral section. I wish I could find more, but there was a really limited quantity of them. So I just mixed in one stem with the white florals, just enough to bring a little pop of pink. And then on the mirror, I added this really pretty chocolate bunny sign and tied a pink velvet ribbon on it. This adorable mama and baby bunny looks so pretty just nestled on top of this cake stand with some florals and pink speckled eggs. I think it's absolutely adorable. I can't believe that it's the first day of spring on Tuesday as well as Easter is only a few short weeks away. It already feels like March is flying by. But there's so much to be excited for and it always feels like spring is a time for new beginnings and just seeing all the baby birds hatch and the bunnies is just such a hopeful time of the year that I truly enjoy. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to this spring. I'm definitely looking forward to being outside more and sitting on the porch and reading. I thought I would try pickleball maybe this summer. I've heard a lot about it. I have a friend who plays and I thought it would be really fun to try something new. So let me know in the comments what you're most looking forward to. This gorgeous print was from HomeSense. I love the daisies on it as well as the arched frame. And little Holstein moved over to this side of the couch. I think it's so cute when dogs wake up and their little face is all smushed in. So he's just lounging while I'm showing you guys our living room. But on our second bookshelf, I did keep it similar to the other one with a few small tweaks. I did add this really cute bird. I love the floral pattern on it. It, as well as this really cute little nest. I do find it challenging sometimes to decorate these bookshelves which I've mentioned before but I absolutely love how they turned out this season. This little Peter Rabbit book is so adorable and then I got this watering can from Dollarama and I added these really pretty greens to it. I love the little daisies on the watering can and then I really love adding eggs to my decor so I found these really pretty robin's eggs and I love the pop of blue that they add. They just look so realistic in that little carton. I don't think I've mentioned it here on my channel before but I did have a ladder on my porch the one year and I had a little box on the top shelf and I had a mama bird come and build a nest and it was so fun to see her lay her eggs and then see all the little birdies grow up. So that was probably one of my favorite experiences living in this house. It was just so amazing to see them go from an egg to a full-fledged bird and fly the nest. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but let me know in the comments if you have. Moving over to this really cute table I have by our back door, I have this vase and florals both from Michaels and to it I added this really cute bunny and egg. 
I always really enjoy decorating our buffet in our dining room. I had this huge dogwood wreath and I tied a simple pink ribbon to it. And then I got this really pretty Easter egg sign from HomeSense, which is basically like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls again. And I love that soft gray color with the wood frame. I love signs. I think they add such a nice cozy feel to the space. I don't use as many as I used to, but I still really like to incorporate them into my decor. And then I had this bowl. I filled it with some moss, a pot, and that really cute bunny egg. Right beside our buffet, I have a ladder and to it, I added this really pretty scarf that was my mom's. I love the daisies. It looks so soft and pretty. To me, it's a perfect little touch for spring. And then our dining table, I kind of set it how we would have it for Easter if we end up having company over. We don't typically sit at this table when we eat dinner every night, so it lets me be able to stage it and have decor on here. I know it wouldn't be practical for everyone, but for where we are in life, we don't have kids, um, it works for us. And I just love creating tablescapes. You'll have to let me know if you guys are the same. I really wanted the tablescape to feel whimsical and just very spring-like, so I added this really pretty floral basket with a bunny and a little teapot. All the pretty touches of pink just add such a feminine feel. And these really pretty bunny plates were from Walmart this year. I love them. I think they were $4.97 each, which is such a good deal. There's so much detail with the flowers and the bunny. I think they're absolutely adorable. I'm so glad that I did decide to add some gold touches with the candlesticks and birds that I've used throughout my home. I typically use more gold at Christmas, but I love how it looks mixed in with the spring decor. Moving into our kitchen, which is definitely the heart of our home, I'm sure it's like that for most people. I love how the space turned out and our home is very open concept. So I try to really make the colors blend from room to room. And my favorite area in the kitchen is definitely the island. This centerpiece is my absolute favorite, just the touches of wicker with that gorgeous vase that I got from Michael's this year and the florals. It just is so soft and pretty and definitely my favorite little vignette that I've done. For me, the funnest part of decorating is just using decor that you already have and changing it up. I've had these chargers for many years as well as these sage plates. And this year I did get those adorable little bunny plates for something different. And I love how they look. The pink and sage is just such a gorgeous combination for spring. And these really pretty cups are from Walmart. They almost look hand painted and I love how dainty the flowers are on them. I was trying to count how many bunnies I used in my spring decor. I definitely didn't use as many as I have in the past, but these bunny plates are so sweet and I love that their ears are pink, so it just ties in my color scheme so perfectly. I really enjoy switching out my hand soap seasonally, so I have this gorgeous pink one from Bath & Body Works. Beside the stove, I have this really sweet vignette. I love how this one turned out. On the stove, I kept it very simple, so this is easy to move off when we do plan to cook. And the counters to some might seem like it's a lot, but to me, this is very minimal compared to what I would do maybe for the fall or winter. So I love all these little displays. I think they all look so cute and just say spring. Above the fridge, I did add this thrifted basket with some florals and a carrot. And I absolutely love how the kitchen turned out. It's definitely my favorite overall space that I decorated for this year. But let me know in the comments what your favorite room was. 
I did mention in a previous video that I was going to share Holstein's little Easter basket. You'll have to let me know if you have pets and if you like to create little Easter baskets for them. We don't have any kids, so for me, it's just fun to spoil Holstein. And I just picked up some cute little items that I thought were very Easter themed. I love all the little stuffies as well as these little eggs that I filled up with some of his favorite treats. I am going to wait till Easter to give him his little care package, but I did show it to him just because he was watching me kind of put it together. Obviously, he had no idea it was for him. He might have had a smidgen with these toys, but I gave him a few little Easter treats and you guys will have to stay till the end because I did put those cute little bunny ears on him and he looks so adorable. So friends, until the next video, God bless and happy Easter.